everyone welcome or welcome back if you're new here i'm alexa and my channel focuses on curly hair so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my most and favorite products of 2020 2020 was a really crazy year but i feel like i found so many products that i'm obsessed with and i've repurchased just because they are that amazing so i'm going to be dividing this video into sections we're going to be going through a wide range of categories we da heavy lifting bubble scalp mask i love this stuff so much every time i use this i feel like my scalp just feels so clean it feels like it just got unclogged and this is kind of like a clarifying shampoo to me not a extreme clarifying shampoo i feel like it sits right in the middle it kind of does reset my hair and i feel like i can kind of use this weekly and i don't notice that my hair gets really dry or anything like that so the next product that i I want to mention is going to be the wash and scrub detox probiotic from curlsmith this is a favorite of mine i freaking like love this so much and i'm so glad that i did purchase this this is so good whenever i'm having a bad hair day and i use this shampoo i feel like my hair just gets this big reset and all of the buildup goes away and it also does prevent an itchy scalp so the next product that i do want to talk about is the conditioner that does come with the wash and scrub detox it's the postbiotic calming conditioner i love this stuff so much i do like mixing this with other conditioners that i will be mentioning throughout this video you can also put this conditioner on your scalp which i think is really really cool it just gives you this really like soothing and calming feeling and you cannot put every conditioner on your scalp because it can cause buildup and this is one of the few or honestly the only one in my whole entire collection that I have that you can also use on your scalp the next conditioner that I do want to mention is a conditioner I'm obsessed with I actually did purchase the biggest bottle because I found it at TJ Maxx and it's the deep moisture conditioner from Giovanni this does have hydrolyzed soy protein when i started using this in my routine and i started experimenting with proteins in my routines i noticed the impact that this conditioner had it leaves my hair so soft and i also noticed that it gives my hair really nice curl definition i'm a huge believer that like when you wash your hair in the shower that sets your hair for the overall results and this is a conditioner that definitely really helps so much it's not overwhelming in the proteins department especially because my hair is on the low porosity scale so i do not like using many conditioners that have too much protein just because i tend to not have a good experience when they have too much protein in them and this is one of the few that definitely works it's also really inexpensive i find this at tj maxx and also whole foods so i feel like if you do want to experiment with proteins this is a good conditioner to start with so i forgot to record these two but these are one of my favorite shampoos and conditioners they're from less brands they're so good they leave my hair so moisturized and i found myself reaching out for them a lot in 2020 now we're going to go into co-washes i feel like over the past few years i've had a hard time finding a co-wash that i actually like and just doesn't leave my hair feeling icky and there's two co-washes that i've been using so much this year and i put them on a pedestal because they are that amazing and those conditioners are the curl quenching conditioning wash from curlsmith and the my sonia hair cleanser so this is the first co-wash that i actually fell in love with and i just noticed right away that my hair liked this and when i went to style my hair my hair looks so so good this just leaves your hair feeling so soft and moisturized it's not overwhelming it does not contain any proteins and i also find that it kind of cleanses my scalp not that much so this is something that i definitely do recommend it is quite pricey but honestly i think this is worth the price and yeah i freaking love Love this co-wash so much so the next co-wash is from my Sonia, and this is actually from a small business I do love small businesses and two of the products that I will be mentioning in this video are from a small business I really like this conditioner because it leaves my hair feeling so soft it also has really nice ingredients like aloe vera it has apple turmeric tea tree oil and jojoba seed oil and this just makes my scalp feel so good it has all of these ingredients that do promote hair growth and whenever i use this to co-wash my hair just feels so nice
this after and I notice that I have a good protein moisture balance and my hair also has amazing definition and yeah this is such an amazing freaking co-wash I do recommend this so so much whenever people ask me for options of cold washes that I do recommend these are my top two honestly these are probably my only two cold washes that I love and I do have other ones that I honestly do not like so if you are looking for a cold wash then definitely pick these up because these are two that I've used so much in 2020 and I'm just so obsessed with let's talk about deep conditioners now so i have so many deep conditioners so it was kind of hard for me to pick the ones that i've used so much so i did select ones that i repurchased ones that i'm almost done with ones that i noticed that i always reached out for so first let's start off with the naughty to the rescue deep moisture conditioner that's actually my second jar this stuff is so good i actually did a routine which was a no product curly hair routine and i used this um before i stopped or I didn't style that day or anything like that but this left my hair so soft it also smells like almond it smells so good it has this really like calming smell and I find this to be a really moisturizing product whenever my hair is super dry I love using this when I'm in the shower also if I am going to steam my deep conditioner that day and this is also pretty inexpensive I believe I paid eight dollars for this so this is something that I definitely do recommend if you are searching for a deep conditioner and it also has no protein the next deep conditioner that i want to talk about is the algae renew from camille rose so this is so good i do not like using this often because it is really really moisturizing so this is something that i use when i notice that my hair is dry like the desert and it just needs an intense moisture treatment and a little bit of this does go a long way i feel like i always try to find products that do go a long way since i do have a lot of hair and i don't want to be going through products that quick this is super buttery and it just feels so nice in my hair the next product that I want to tell you guys about is the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Protein Treatment. I love this protein treatment so much. I feel like I have a hard time finding a protein treatment that works for my hair. I actually only have two protein treatments that I love and I always recommend. And one of them is actually in the fridge. It's from a small business called Ecoslay and it's the Matcha Boost. So that's just another protein treatment that I found myself using a lot in 2020 and also a little bit of that well a long way it has really amazing protein ingredients that my hair likes and to me this is kind of like a little bit more intense than the matcha boost and it's also super moisturizing there are days that i've used this protein treatment and i don't follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner because i feel like this does have a good balance of protein and moisture so I actually want to mention another deep conditioner and that's the Bounce Curl Deep Conditioner. This is one that I'm almost out of and I really love this just because it is weightless. Whenever I do use this, I find that my hair has amazing volume on day one. Sometimes when I do use a moisturizing deep conditioner, especially on day one, I notice that my hair tends to get a little weight down. But with this conditioner, I can always just know that I am going to get volume and I definitely do recommend this especially if your hair is probably like fine or not as thick as mine I feel like this is something that you will definitely love and this is something that I'm obsessed with and I'm so glad that I did discover in 2020 So now we're going to move on to leave-in conditioners. So I feel like in 2020, I discovered a lot of leave-in conditioners. I honestly do not use leave-in conditioners that often, but I've implemented so many this year that I'm just shocked. So the first one that I want to mention is the collagen leave-in conditioner from Novex. This stuff is so good. It's honestly one of the first leave-in conditioners that do have protein that I started to experiment and I just noticed a big difference when incorporating this into my routine. I just feel like overall my hair was more bouncy, shiny, and defined. So I feel like this gives my hair a really amazing protein moisture balance at the beginning of the routine. So this is something that I definitely recommend. It's also really, really inexpensive. The next leave-in conditioner that I love is the Moisture Milk from Camille Rose. I feel like a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So I 
tend to apply a little bit not a lot and i feel like i tend to be heavy-handed with many products and this is one of the few products that i only take a little bit so this is something that i do recommend it leaves my hair so soft and just buttery and the next leave-in conditioner that i love is actually the manuka honey and yogurt from shea moisture this stuff is so good when i first used this i started using it back to back in my routines just because i feel like it gave my hair the right amount of protein boost i do notice that my hair loves protein at the beginning of the routines my hair isn't a big fan of protein when it's in creams or gels or it's a little bit difficult for me to find products that my hair loves with protein during those steps so this is a leave-in conditioner that i do recommend i also feel like it makes my hair stronger and it just gives it way more strength and another leave-in conditioner that i do want to mention but i used all of it and i need to go buy it really soon is the weightless air dry cream from from curl smith that stuff smells amazing i think it's worth the money it's also so good and it does not weight my hair down whenever i've used that i noticed that my hair gets so much volume and i've also used it on its own combined with a gel and it works so so good so now for curl creams i honestly only have two curl creams that i'm obsessed with and i love so much and throughout 2020 i've used them a million times and that's going to be the can 2 coconut curling cream and also the avocado and rose oil clump and define cream from bounce curl so i know that the jar for this looks really small but a little bit of this goes such a long way i've had this since like march and now we're in december and i still have a good amount left and if you do want Watch my videos you know that this is a product that I do tend to use a lot and it also smells so good and the smell sticks with you I do not know how to describe the smell I don't know how they made this but it smells amazing and I also love the Cantu coconut curling cream just because it is inexpensive I feel like I can kind of say that these two are similar because you know they kind of do work the same but this one is obviously more inexpensive so if you are on a budget this is something that i definitely suggest you to pick up so for gels i feel like there's only one that i can say is my absolute favorite in 2020 just because it is so amazing this is actually the second bottle that i repurchased and it's the curly magic from uncle funky's daughter the first time i used this i was blown away just because it made my hair so bouncy it gave me so much shrinkage i was like what the hell what type of sorcery is inside this gel but it is definitely like magic so i feel like the name of this gel definitely does represent what it is if you are looking for a gel definitely pick this up because this is one of my favorite finds in 2020 it's just so amazing i remember when i ran out of my first bottle i was so sad i had to go to target and just pick up another one There is only one mousse in this video that I do want to mention and that's the SGX NYC Soul Whipped Mousse. This mousse is so good. I've used it on my roots just to get a little bit of volume. It works so well. It's also really inexpensive and I've noticed that you can sometimes find this at TJ Maxx for really, really cheap. Sometimes I do see this for 5 or $4 at TJ Maxx. I've probably repurchased about 5 bottles of this since 2019 and yeah, this is one of my favorite mousse and I definitely do recommend it. So for oil, there is one oil that you've probably seen that I've mentioned in so many of my videos and it's actually from a small business and it's the moisturizing hair growth oil from Mimi's Curls. I do have the vanilla bean scent and it's my favorite scent so far. It smells so good. I love vanilla bean so much and I love this oil because it's so versatile. I can use it for my scalp for hair growth and I feel like I can say that it has helped with my hair growth journey i also love this to break up the cast and also to do the log and the log method so this is something that i definitely do recommend if you are looking for an oil that smells amazing that actually works and it's also from a small business and it's always amazing to support small businesses so another oil that i want to mention is honestly an oil that i started using late november and i haven't mentioned it much in many of my videos just because it is new to me but since i started using it i've been obsessed with it i've noticed such a big difference with this oil and i feel like i do need to mention 
using it in this video so that's the verb ghost oil this oil seals my hair in so nicely i've used this oil so many times when it's rainy outside when it's snowing and this just holds up my hair so well i feel like i'm literally addicted to this oil if you guys can see i'm literally up to here and it's probably been like four to five weeks since i started using this so if you are looking for an oil that does seal your hair in really really nicely i definitely do recommend this So now for brushes, I tried to pick three of my most used brushes throughout 2020 and that's going to be the Easy Detangler. I love using this to detangle my hair. It's just so nice and this like separates right here. It glides through my hair so easily and it's just one of those brushes that I do not have a hard time detangling my hair. So the next brush that I do want to mention is I feel like a brush that I did use a lot at the beginning of 2020, especially because there is a specific way that I do like using this and I don't know if you guys have seen my Danman brush video but it's when I use it like this so this is a brush that I definitely do recommend it's also really really pretty I find that when I use this I get really nice ringlets throughout my hair so now the next brush is the tangle teaser so this is a brush that I've been using ever since I used it first to style for my hair because when I got this first I did use it to detangle and I feel like it does work nicely to detangle but I feel like like a lot of people don't use this to style or it doesn't have enough hype but when you style with this brush I feel like it gives my hair really amazing ringlets and I've been obsessed with this brush ever since I first did discover it So now I do want to mention two things that I like using when I'm doing a treatment or when I'm drying my hair. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is something that I haven't really mentioned in my videos or shown. So I do want to make a video using this soon. This is something that I did get on Amazon. I think I paid $25 for this. But this is a steaming cap and it comes with an outlet. So that's what I really do like about it. You can take it anywhere. You don't have to worry about having a microwave or any of that. And it does have like these controls settings right here you can put it on low or high I usually do use this on high and I find that my hair loves being steamed especially when I'm deep conditioning or doing a hot oil treatment it just drinks up the product really really nicely so if you do have low porosity hair I do recommend this steaming cap it's so amazing I've had it for I'll say like five months now and it still works so well the next thing that I do want to mention in this video and I was like hmm like should I mention this just because I I am going to make a video exclusively for this product just because it's something that I was on the fence about for over a year. I didn't know if I wanted to buy it just because it is extremely expensive and I just thought it was a little bit ludicrous to spend $400 on this. So that's going to be my Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer and this is in a case right here if you guys can see. So I do not regret spending $400 on this. I think it's worth the money. It's changed my life. It's made my wash days easier and now I feel like I don't feel like hmm like I don't want to wash my hair just because it takes so long to dry now whenever I'm going to wash my hair I'm like okay I have the Dyson it's gonna dry faster and this has been such a game changer life changing so I feel like all of the hype that it does get is just so true and I'm just really excited to make a video about this soon review it for you guys tell you why I like it so yeah this is it for this video I really had fun sharing with you what i've been loving in 2020 what are my most used products i really do hope you enjoy this video and also just comment down below let me know what are your most used products in 2020 because i'm always looking for things to buy and to review so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a happy new year's a happy 2021 and i wish you guys the best bye